this thing on. All right, all right. Good afternoon, students, teachers, the muffin man, delivery boy, and people alike, including you, Mr. President. This is me, Emmett Mendoza, Chris Vargas, and my fellow student, Felix Vasquez. Today, we're going to teach you how to solve an equation. Here we got an equation. All right, we set it up. Here's a triangle, a right triangle. We have a variable we're trying to solve for, which is x and x. Triangle, all right? Here's the equation we got set up. Measure angle A, measure angle B, equals measure angle C equals 180. Chris, you're going to solve this. Go. All right. I got my handy marker. I'll cap this. And... Uh, uh, uh. Yep, it's not on this. All right. All right, the measurement of angle A has been substituted for 4x plus 7, which as you can see right here. And the measurement of B, angle B, is 8x minus 1 plus the measurement of angle C. As you can see, this little box right here, that makes it 90 degrees straight even. All right, now what we want to do is we want to solve for x. So we combine like terms for the first thing. All right, so as you can see, we combine 4x and 8x, which will give us 12x. First thing, done. These two, out of there. All right, now we have to combine the other like terms. Positive 7, negative 1, and 90, which will give us 96. Exactly. All right. And we can't forget about our handy dandy 180. Remember, this is an equation, so you got to put an equal sign to it, all right? All right. Now, what we want to do is we want to subtract 96 from 180. All right. Now, this is where it gets not complicated. Minus 96. From both sides. What are we left with? Emmett, do you have a clue? What about you, Felix? I think do you have a clue? Let me get like the 90, uh, the 84, maybe? I'm not sure. What do you think? I'm not getting my math, so. No, that okay. was right. <laughs> that was right. All right. We've done our calculations and our sciences. And now, we've learned that when you take away 96 from 180, what do you get, Felix? You get 84. 84. And now, you see this little 12x? That means x times 12 equals 84. So what we want to do is, we want to divide both sides by 12. So we're just going to put a line under there, divide both sides by 12. That takes care of the 12. All right. Now the x, it's going to be left there all alone. But something happened to the 84. I wonder what? It gets divided by 12. Felix, do you know what that is? It's seven. <gasps> seven. Lucky number. And there you have it, folks. X equals seven. Now let's, let's see what happens when we put seven in the equation so that it all adds up to 180. All right, let me just erase all this. Get a fresh start. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, 4x plus 7 plus 8x minus 1 plus 90 equals 180. Now, what we want to do is, since we found out that x equals 7, we have to substitute it for each one of these over here. So we're going to end up with 4, open parentheses, 7, close parentheses, plus 7, plus 8, open parentheses, 7, close parentheses, that's important, minus 1, plus 90. All right, now there you have it. But we're still not done yet. Now. 4 times 7. What is that, Felix? 28. 28. Solid 28. All right. Plus 7 plus 8 times 7, which is what, Emmett? 35. It's 56, Emmett. What's your problem? Emmett, just for that, you don't get a gold star. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. But it's, it's okay, man. Now just head to your little corner. All right, Felix, what was it again? 56. 
56. That's a solid 56. And we can't forget about the minus 1. Plus 90. All right. Now, Emmett, here's where you can redeem yourself. What's 28 plus 7? 35. He's correct. He's correct. All right. So that's a solid 35. Plus 56. Minus 1. Plus 90. Now, Felix, what do we get when we minus 1 and 56? We get 55. Really? It's fascinating. I'm going to go with you since you never let me wrong. 55 plus 35 plus 90. We can't forget all this has to equal 180. So just add a little equal sign. Equals 180. Now, let's see what happens when we combine 35 and 55. Our scientists say that it should equal 90. Now, are you positive? Positive. He's positive, folks. All right. Plus 90 equals 180. Anyone know what 90 plus 90 is? Hmm. Emmett, do you know what 90 plus 90 is? I got an idea. What is it? 180. Oh my god. I think he's just cured the common cold. Now we just have to solve for this. By God. You've got it, Emmett. And yeah, he's very weak handed. Now, kids, you know how to solve for angles. <laughs>